when you start out train uh, at the start of the year, you know, you can only imagine, you can only dream of this happening, you know, and I'm in a privileged position, you know. Uh, look, I'm not the only one, Kelvin Riley as well, so look, we'll enjoy it when we, when we can. Was Clonkill particularly sweet last weekend though, you know, given that she'd had a couple of years of pain waiting to get back to the top again? Yeah, obviously, you know, and, and there's that little bit of rivalry between ourselves and Raharney, you know, so it's always that bit sweeter, you know. Mm. You got over the line, you won by four points in the end, but there was a bit of concern from Brian Conklin is lining up that free towards the end, memories of a few years ago as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously, um, uh, standing on the, on, on the line at the time, um, Memories of I think 2009 I think or it was or or no not 2009 2008 yeah 2010 kind of came back into my head but at the sa same time you know you had that bit of confidence we had that bit of confidence that bit of drive and and, and lucky enough we came out with the ball you know you know it wasn't probably the most exciting final but it was a final where both teams were rucking it out to try and get a victory really yeah and 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 you know what it uh, uh, we knew start before the game you know like it was going to take a lot of hard work and and a lot of uh, grafting to win that game and and that's what Raharney are all about you know they, they, as we've seen them going through the Leinster last year you know and um, they, they grind out wins all the time they do that and that's the sort of team they are and uh, we knew we'd have to match them and maybe go above that to, to win you know well you're the Westmead team that got you into the senior championship when you went to Crow Park Feels a good few years ago now at this stage to win uh, a club intermediate. I mean, you'd love another run in provincial competition, wouldn't you? Oh, um, brilliant! You know, like uh, first, first, of all, first of all, most you have to get there, and that's that's we've done that now. So obviously, we're going to go back to the uh, drawing board, and we're going to work hard now over the next uh, two weeks, and and we're going to number one is same ones. We'll worry about same ones, hmm. and uh, and try and get over that. Yeah, because suppose you look at your side of the draw, and again, you won't look anywhere past Mullins, but yeah. the fact that you have Kilkenny, Dublin, Offaly up the other side of the draw, you've got to look at this as an opportunity, right? This is this is a massive opportunity, and we know that, you know, like, uh, um, you look back at uh, Mount Leinster Rangers, they're a prime example of, you know, a team coming out of nowhere and, uh, and winning these uh, the Leinster Championship, you know. We're, we're going to be underdogs, we know that, but uh, we're, we're going to... You know, try your best and and uh, try and push on. Mm. Um, I suppose look for you from Clonkey, like you won the Leinster League last year as well. I mean, you've shown that you've pedigree at this level, and maybe disappointed not to win the championship on the back of having won that. It's yeah, yeah, massive. You know, and um, look, oh, we, we we've had a, a, a lot of years, a lot of years in the legs, and uh, we, we've had good times and bad. You know, but we we knew this year was going to be a massive year for our club. You know, and uh, it, it, it could have been. It was, it was going to be tit for tat, you know, all the way. But that's that's the beauty of the Westmead Championship, you know. There's teams there that can push uh, to can win any year, you know. And that's Castletown, uh, Raharney and Clonkill and, and, and Castle Pollard, you know. And you look at Lachlan Gales coming through this Lock year as well. It's a very competitive championship. Yeah, Lachlan Gales were actually, they were kind of the, the team that pushed on this year. They, they were te the surprise team because they'd been probably underrated we'll call it, uh, over the years. But this year, they just showed what they can do. And, and, and they could, again, they could have bet Raharney that day, on the day, but Raharney came out on top. But look, we're, we're just happy to where, where we are, you know. Well, 99 years since you were founded, did you enjoy title number 14? Did you celebrate it much of the weekend? Yeah, <laughs> as you can hear from my voice, uh, yeah, of course we celebrated, you know. And, and uh, especially, especially, you know, um, it's been two or three years now since since we won the last, you know, and and of course we're going to enjoy it, you know, and um, but at, at the same time we have uh, one eye on two weeks' time. Mm. Is it tricky for you? I mean, and again, social Kevin as well, like the fact that you've got Lomans, Clonkill. Next three weeks are going to be very busy for you. We are, but uh, again, it's brilliant to be in that position, you know, and and uh, I'm going to I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to uh, give everything I, I can, you know, and uh, look, we. We'll, you try and fit in the two over the next three weeks, you know, and it's going to be hard, but I don't mind, you know, I, I'll take it. As the Leinster Piero said a few minutes ago, you know, any team can win that's now in there. You have your Westmead double, you could probably dream of a Leinster double, maybe. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a big dream now, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes dreams come true, you know, and uh, look, we, as I said to you earlier on, we're going to worry about game number one, either Eden Derry or Palantine um, of Carlow and 
c'est mon lentino.